guys, it's Jean here. Welcome to my channel. So today I've got another mum's haul video to show you guys. It's been a few weeks since I've recorded and the last one was also a mum's haul video. But honestly, like right now, Isabel is, um, she is past her corrected age of one. So she's officially a toddler. And even though we haven't been doing a lot in our time, like throughout the day, I just feel like a lot of time is just spent chasing after her she just won't stop moving she's not walking yet she's just crawling super fast everywhere and really determined and testing my patience and my like her limits um so it's just been really hectic to really just sit down and breathe let alone record um but i wanted to show you guys this because i'm so excited i just received the last of um, hopefully the last of like things i've ordered um but i've been obsessed over lunch boxes like she i've been obsessed before she was one um but i started thinking about which ones i was gonna buy and as much as i did the research to try and be smart about it and not overbuy i think i went a little overboard so i ended up getting like a whole lot of like lunch boxes and stuff for her um so yeah so I'm just going to jump right into it because I definitely blabber way too much. Um, but the first set of lunch boxes I got were all in a set. So these are, these I actually bought a few months ago. So these are kind of like my first lunch box pur um, purchases. So Isabel, when we go out and about, it's usually just for an afternoon or so where I don't have to bring a lot of food. Um, she was drinking mostly milk till now. Um, I just bought some snacks here and there, but I thought it was time to really start investing in lunch boxes. So I've been, I bought these ones first for her just to try it out to see she doesn't need to eat a whole lot if anything just like dry snacks anyway um so these were perfect sizes for when we did have kind of like the whole afternoon morning afternoon out these are from tupperware i think it's an older collection i actually got these from ebay um i hope they're legit but I think they're, um, they're older models. Um, they've got newer ones, which is similar, but just in different colours. Um, but this is a Tupperware. Like, Tupperware is, has been around for years. And I'm pretty sure they have, like, a lifetime guarantee on these. So, I've never had any problems with Tupperware. And I'm pretty sure everyone's got some sort of Tupperware at home anyways. Um, but, yeah, these came in a set of three. Which I thought at first, maybe it was a little too much. But sometimes, you know, if you're going out two days and you're in a rush, you can prepare prepare earlier or if one's not washed prop like washed yet you can always reuse another one so I guess it wasn't too bad I haven't really had to use all three at the same time but you know what maybe when I go out I can pack my own lunch as well like a snack um, but these are great because you'll notice with these as well I like the whole idea of like the bento style how it kind of has dividers in it so this is good because they do have dividers this has like a three compartment um, which it looks like a sandwich size, but you can also just, you know, just cut it up into like little bite sizes, which is good for a toddler. Um, it has like one big one here and two small ones. So recently what I've been doing, if you follow me on my, um, my mum's Instagram, little smidgy, um, I do sign to kind of post these. So anytime I have any, it's more just like lunch inspirations because i know myself i'm one of those moms that always look up inspirations what to feed a baby what to feed a toddler um so yeah these are great but i've been using these ones just to put like um you know some fruits some veggie muffins and sandwiches for her a lot of times like i may not need a lot of fruits so i still just put her package like crackers and stuff in it um but this has been really working really well for me um but now that she is past one and she should be eating more solids I thought it was time to invest in kind of like more bigger or um, practical lunch boxes. The reason why as well that although these Tupperware ones are great, they're not exactly leak proof in terms of like the compartments. So the container itself is fine, but there's no kind of like divider where it's sectioned it. So if you have food like fruits for example that um, has a lot of juice left over and your lunch box kind of just kind of goes everywhere in the bag it may kind of tipple over to the next compartment especially when you get sandwiches. I hate soggy sandwiches. That's gross. So that's the reason why I thought I would move on and also purchase another set of lunch boxes. I did actually do a ton of research trying to be smart about it and not over buy too much. Um, but that being said, doing a lot of my YouTube reviews, researching, I noticed that a lot of, especially American mums, have tons of them. Like they, I don't know whether it's an American thing to overbuy a lot of things. 
um, but a lot of mums had like a lot of different lunch boxes. So I did a lot of research trying to cut it down to which one I thought would one look good, um, two be you know useful, and just I don't know, it just seems fun like making little bento boxes. So the one I ended up purchasing was this one. This is from Yumbox. Um, I actually was looking at getting a pink, a baby pink one. Um, I think it's called Hollywood Pink Collection. Um, but for some reason, I walked up buying a mint one. I have, there was a reason why, but I've forgotten it. Anyway, so this is a yum box. There's quite a lot of companies that do this style of lunch boxes. But the reason why I went for the yum box is because it has one buckle rather than two. Uh, apart from that, they're all quite similar. But what I like about this one is that it's got um, one, two, three, four, four compartments. A lot of them kind of have extra compartments where there's like six different ones. But I wanted one that had a traditional sandwich. One that can fit a proper sandwich in. So this one is the panini version of the Yum Box um, that has that. You can always buy like a tray because you can take this off and just buy another tray if you want like six compartments in it or seven compartments. But I like the whole sandwich one. Only because thinking ahead, you know... Nowadays, lunches aren't exactly like when I was in primary school. When I was in primary school, I had the standard, like that rectangle lunchbox, how it has like an inbuilt, um, not inbuilt, but it has a lunch bottle, like a bottle of like in there. They can fill it up with water or juice or whatever. It has a space big enough for a sandwich as well as like a snack compartment. You know those lunchboxes? All of you know what I'm talking about, but anyways, lunch boxes are so completely different now, and it's not just taking sandwiches to school, like a lot of people take different things like wraps, salads, rice. So I thought this would be good because not only can I fit a sandwich, it's also big enough that if I do give her like pasta or rice dishes, that it is kind of like a plate um, where it's not something small and cramp. And there are also, this is a generous size um, for like dipping sauce or like just a small compartment and also has two little like snack places for it as well. Um, this is great because of the rubber on the top that it does securely hold. Obviously it doesn't hold liquid liquid but it does hold enough that it won't make things run for the other side. Even though it's meant to be light weighted it does kind of feel heavy in my opinion. Um, not something that's like especially after you put food in it. I think it's quite heavy but anyways. But the reason why I got this one is because for these, for example, you tend to lose the lid when because it's separate. But this one is attached, so if she goes and has lunches, she'll never have to worry about losing the lid. I like it because it's quite even in um, start the style of it. It's got curved corners, which are quite easy. Um, I haven't heard seen much reviews about people dropping them, whether they get damaged. Um, but yeah, everything's easily you know detachable, so you can clean it. Um, but yeah, so this is pretty good. It did have like the original one which had like another, I think it was a six compartment one where you can fit different stuff. But I didn't see the need. And if I ever need more compartments, I could just use those like silicon, um, what do you call it, those like cupcake patties um, if I want to do that as well. So that being said, like I said, I did a lot of research and I thought, you know, the one lunch box that I think I really need is this. Um, which is why I bought this. However, after I purchased it, I realised, first of all, Isabel is one, so she doesn't really need anything this big to hold this much right now. Um, so it's not something that I can probably use for her right now. Even though, Gina, I was smart thinking ahead, I wasn't exactly the smartest thinking now. Um, which I could still use the Tupperware one, but however, one of the mums from my mum's crew got her daughter one of these ones, which I thought was super cute and I didn't, because even though I looked at this brand, I don't know why I didn't buy it, but they have this version, which would have been perfect for her now. So this one is from Stuck On You. Um, I actually looked at these ones, but just the design of it was slightly different. But I don't recall seeing the mini one at the time. Anyway, so this is a mini bento box version. And I like it because you can also customise their name. So I got Isabel customised. I got her on a purple because I thought... 
I don't know, I feel it's quite nice. I don't know why, but I just got her a purple. Um, this is from Stuck On You. Because it's a mini, so that they do have larger ones like this size. And I think the reason why I end up going for this one is because it was just easier to buy in store. I know some stores sold it in store. But it was, I don't know, to, in my opinion, it's slightly, like, only a little bit. But this is slightly more curved than this one. Um, I didn't actually see the mini one when I got the Young Box one. But when one of the other mums bought this, I thought this is perfect for her now. It still looks quite big. Like, if you compare the size, it's only a little bit smaller. It looks quite big. However, the inside, again, with the tray, it actually is not exactly the biggest. But I think this is perfect for her to use now like the yum box one it's got like dividers that you know i let obviously you can't use like liquid liquid water base but it does hold enough and the middle one is a perfect size to put like dips or like little nuts or like little you know raisins or something like that and this is perfect for her right now so you can't fit a full sandwich but if you slice it up you could put it in there it's got big generous compartments um, and yeah, and I like it because you can also customize it as well. So hopefully this is something that she can use now. In my opinion, it is still a bit bulky, I mean, compared to this one. But I also feel like this one is more durable um, as well. And if it was stored properly, it will probably keep it cooler a lot longer. Um, but I do like it that it is um, customized so she'll never have to lose her lunchbox. So I guess those are all like the bento style lunch boxes that I purchased for her. Um, definitely don't need that much, but they're all super cute anyway. And I just got really excited the whole idea of preparing her lunch. And I'm all about bentoing and like, you know, little bits of everything. So I'm super excited to um, prepare her food. Now the last lot is from a brand. This is a Melbourne based company called We Might Be Tiny. And I've been following them from Instagram for a while now and their stuff is super be cute um but yes i bought a whole lot of stuff and this is more i guess home rather than lunchbox versions but stuff that i bought that i thought will be useful for home um now that she usually her like dinner routine is we'll give her some puree food and then when we eat it we'll give her some finger like baby lamb weaning food for her to eat i don't expect her to eat all of it that's why we give her the puree food to begin with um however now that she is one that i do need to start thinking about giving her proper food um just to encourage her so i bought all this stuff from um we are we might be tiny but their stuff is so cute anyway so the first one i bought is not really necessary but since i was putting an order for this i might as well get it anyway and this is a cute little bear snacky container in like a dusty rose color so i've seen these around in melbourne obviously um, and they're just really cute. They're just like little snack lunch boxes. Um, these aren't exactly bento boxes, but, you know, sometimes just to get different options. And I like the fact that this is slightly smaller. So this is more of like a snack snack. Um, but it's just got like a little thing. I don't even know if I'll actually use this because it's quite... I don't know, it's okay. But it's got this lid that you can take off and it's like two different compartments. So even if I was at home, I could feed her with this. Um, but how cute is this? This is gorgeous. These are like silicone kind of designs. So it's like a snack box like this. So We Might Be Tiny specializes in like three different prints. A bear print, a bunny print, and like a cat print. Um, I decided to go with a bear, not a no, yeah, a bear for this snack one, only because the ears are curved. And I thought, you know, if I want to ever divide it, I could put little, like, patties, um, cupcake patties to separate and put something in. Although I didn't realise how small it would be, so it probably wouldn't work out. So anyways, I thought this would be a cute, like, if we're just going for a local errands run or something, um, I can pack this for her. Uh, just different options and what to put into it. Um... I also ended up buying some stuff for home as well, just to make it a little bit more easy. Like, she is the messiest eater, but she also likes to grab the plate and kind of chuck it around. So I thought I would also get her a silicone plate. Um, this is a cat sticky plate, which is good because I've seen a lot of, like, the sticky, the non-slip kind of matte 
bowls that are stuck on, which I would have gotten for her anyways. But I think this is good because you're not really... It's just easier to clean because it's actually a size of a plate rather than, you know, kind of like preparing her meal on a whole tray all the time. Which, I don't know, I may end up buying a tray later on. But I thought this was cute. It also, when I saw this a few years back, it reminded me of Hello Kitty. But this is a cat version. I don't know if you can see. They've got like little imprints of like eyes and like little whiskers. But this is cute. So this is in I think a powdered blue. This is like a dinner kind of table set. And it's got like a back kind of um, non-slip bit that you can put it on top. And I've tested this. It definitely works on the table. The one thing is when I put it on the tray, um, the stalker um, tray, it doesn't, but like all kind of non-stick ones, it doesn't really stick all the time. Uh, so that's just something I have to deal with. But I thought this is good because it's perfect proportion size. You can put her main stuff here and like little condiments or side dishes, which are awesome. And it means she can also join us for dinner. And then because I went a little bit extra, I also bought a few other stuff. So I also bought this non-slip silicone placement. Um, I thought, you know what, since I'm going all out, I might as well get her all these cute stuff too. So this is just great because she is definitely leaving a whole lot of mess everywhere. So I thought I would get this for her as well, just to put on the table. And I got the bunny because the bunny is a perfect kind of place to put like a drink um, just so you know the orientation things on this you can have a plate in the middle a drink and on one of the ears what so so how cute is this can you imagine her eating dinner on this Ooh, stay tuned on my instagram definitely be posting some of these up now i really didn't need anything else but on her 12 month um, maternal nurse appointment the nurse had said that she really needs to start learning how to drink from a cup which I thought but she's still a baby but anyway so um, she's still not really taking water really well so it's kind of been a struggle there but I thought you know what let's just get a little cup for her as well so I bought this group cup which is the same they're all this like silicone kind of material this is quite bendy but still sturdy which is good um, it's heat proof it's cool proof it's microwave washable dishwashing washable did I say microwave washable? It's microwave safe and dishwasher safe, um, which I think it's good because this is like her, this can be her cup. So hopefully, you know, as she grows older, she will learn to drink properly from it. But I also brought some of these bendy straws as well. So these are eco-friendly silicone straws, just so we don't have to like, you know, pollute and get more one of these plastic straws, which are super cute. And I could also use this myself at home as well. So they're just like normal silicone, but they're quite sturdy and they do hold their shape. It does also come with a brush cleaner, so she can use those. So I have like a whole dinner kind of set for her, which is so cute. So yeah, those are all the dining wear stuff that I purchased recently. Um, I like to think of it as an investment in her future. But yeah, so hopefully, you know, we've only just started this whole like snacks and like lunchbox kind of like this whole journey but hopefully everything goes well because i'm super excited the cuter things are it just encourages me to just keep on going so hopefully we get to play around with this and see what i come up with um if you want to follow my journey make sure you follow me on instagram as well um but we're gonna have so much fun anyways i hope you like this video if you do please give me a thumbs up and until next time thanks for watching bye